What slimy thing? Your tongue. Christ, what's with the tongue? He's using it. He was using it. This movie could use a little sex anyway. Shut up, you little tongue. All right, people, we had so much fun the first time. We're going to do the whole goddamn scene over again. Just as long as he agrees not to use that thing. Yeah. He'll behave himself this time, won't you? Cross my heart and hope to die. All right, ready, boys? Yeah, yeah. Scene 216, take 39. Or something. I just. I have had it up to here. Wait, you can't. You can't just leave like that. Hey, if you leave, we're gonna have to throw out the whole scene. You can throw out the whole goddamn movie for all I care. Who would want to go see a film where every five minutes some lady gets carved up? I'm an actress, not a human sacrifice. Great. Great. I hope you've had your fun. You know, replacing her isn't going to be easy. She didn't even want anything up front. We'll be back. I shouldn't get upset? No. I shouldn't get upset? Do you know what these are? These are bills. Nothing but goddamn bills. Now, how are we supposed to pay these bills if we can't even finish a film, huh? All right, man, I'll get her back. Shit, just calm down. Yeah, you do that. Sensitive little Invitation to the reading of a will? Yeah, my old man finally gets the last word in. I thought he croaked like five years ago. What are they getting around to it now for? Well, tomorrow's my 21st birthday, and I guess it took him that long. Oh, man, I forgot. I'm sorry. Hey. Well, anyway, don't just sit here like you're about to commit suicide. Our stocks are rising again. No congratulations for your partner?
wanted to see my birth certificate. Here, there it is. Have you seen it now? Good. Can we please get on with it? Everything has to be in order. Yeah, 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 sure. I understand that. That's no problem. Let's go. I will now proceed with the reading of the will. Ah, woo -hoo. That would be great. <clears throat> to Warren. Hello, son. You're 21 years old now, and it's high time that you knew a little something about your... Come on, finish. Read it. Please, sir. Thank you. Well, come on. What'd you get? What's this? Can't you read? A pawn ticket. I'm relieved, Fred. You really can read. Good boy. A lousy $20.35? That's all you inherited? Inherited? No, no, no. I gotta pay that myself. Oh, this is crazy. <sighs> Happy birthday, Warren. <laughs> Look, man, this is a stick-up. Hey, man, stop fooling around. We're armed and dangerous. <laughs> oh, shit. What was the joke? What was the joke? Oh, a real good joke. I got something else for you, too. Mm, money. Five, seven, six, seven, eight. Eight dollars. And my partner here is going to pay for the rest. Me? Bullshit, I will. Yeah. Got my last 20, boy. You convinced me. Why don't you just put that little pea shooter down now, okay? Everything is it? Oh! The numbers right. Open it. Bastard, almost hacked off my fingers. Come on, open it. Wait. What's so special about all this shit? An old clock, old photographs. There's the man himself. Old Gramps. They say he was filthy rich. See, they were all waiting for him to kick the bucket so they could get their hands on his money. But he just bailed one day. And he split with every cent, and they all died waiting for him to be found. Who's that funny little guy next to him? It must be his butler. I think he was English. They say that after the old man disappeared, he just couldn't handle it and poisoned himself. I thought she liked you. She does. Why don't you call her? I will. When? Look, I'll call her now if it makes you happy. Okay. I'll come with you. <laughs> no, you won't. Put Lori back on the phone. Well, if you want Lori again in your movie, then we want this. Hey! What are you doing? Give me that What are you doing? Hey, hey Fred, what was that? He tried, he tried to steal a suitcase. I ordered plain, everyday killer piranha fish, Marvin. You know what I'm saying? The bloodthirsty killer piranha fish. I fed him fresh, and these bastards don't eat. 
Now, what are you selling me, Marvin? Vegetarian fish or ferocious killers competitors? What? Goldfish? Yeah, all right. You always this quick? I'm extremely sorry, sir. Let me see. Oh, yeah. You're Carl, huh? You're a kraut, right? Well, uh, my parents come from Germany, but I'm an American citizen. Oh, yeah? You Germans have a reputation for being reliable and efficient. Thank you, sir. Well, that's good, because... What I want you to do is to follow orders. That's all. I appreciate your confidence in me, sir. Well, we'll see about that. Now, what I want you to do is very simple. I want you to follow somebody very closely without being noticed. Now, this person has something that belongs to me. It's very valuable, and I want it back. It's a brown suitcase. You think you can do this?
Wake up, man. Wake up. Did you hear that? I think he's in the living room right now. Oh. There it is. Oh. Look at this. I'm telling you, this wasn't a burglar. Bullshit, it wasn't. I think it's time to figure out who's behind all this. Listen, Warren, I had this really crazy dream, okay? Well, actually, it wasn't really a crazy dream. It was sort of like abnormal. No, it was crazy. It was a crazy dream. Listen, it was the grandfather. He had his butler wall him in, see? See? But before he did that, he had to drink a glass of poison wine so that the only witness would be taken care of. See? And then he breaks down and dies right on the steps, see? And then that clock, that one, falls down too with him at precisely one o'clock. Don't you see? It's one o'clock now, too! Wake up, idiot! This isn't one of your stupid films. I mean, someone's so hot to get this stuff that they'd even stoop to burglary. I mean, do you realize what that means? I saw what I saw. Well, don't you come in here and try to tell me that a goddamn ghost stopped you from doing what I told you to do. I don't buy it! Jesus Christ. I'm surrounded by a bunch of lame... Dirt brains around here, aren't I? What are you doing standing there like an idiot? Oh, the, the, the goldfish, sir. We're gonna drop them in the tank, Dodo. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Why haven't you gotten it through your thick skull yet? I lie in bed awake all night, then it comes over me like a divine inspiration. Why rack our brains trying to come up with a script? We haven't got to invent anything. We just draw from our own experience. Our financial situation isn't looking up. Oh, come on. What are you worrying about money for? It's a good idea, isn't it? Yeah, but you see, I don't have the slightest desire to play this butler character. Oh, you said anything about that. You play the grandson who was cheated out of his rightful inheritance and who at the end gets everything, of course, including the leading lady. The last part's all right. Yeah, this story needs a little bit of sex. Oh, shit. This picture's gonna be good. We have another little problem. What are we gonna do with the scenes we already shot, huh? You think about that? Well, we... Well, we could use them, for the most part. But you see, to do that, we're gonna need Lori again. Well, uh, you let me take care of that problem. About how long till the new script's finished? Already taken care of. Why can't you stay with me forever? It's impossible. How else will the rest of the world be able to try new banana boa boa? A delicious fruity drink with the taste of the tropics. What are you doing here? Maybe I'm looking for a job. You're out of luck. I think I'm looking for somebody tall, dark, 
think you have a completely false picture of me. But anyway, never mind all that. That's something for you. Come on, at least read it. I mean, Fred took into consideration everything you said in the part's really good. Um, Harry tells me that, um, I shouldn't hang out with guys like you. Oh, Harry. Hmm. And who's this fellow Harold? My agent. Oh, I see. Agent. <laughs> wow. He's really a nice guy, huh? Instead, he put you here on the banana boat. I like that. Laurie Sanders? Why can't you stay? I'm with her. Your second trip, you screwed up everything. Oh, come on. Those guys were blind. Let me tell you something, baby. You were great. I know. I was there. It was like you had all this passion, this expression, feeling. <laughs> It brought a tear to my eye, and I loved it. And I think you should have the job. Just read our script. Fred, have you seen my Italian hair gel? It's in this little green bottle. It's... It's... It's five to nine. I haven't seen it. All right, thanks. Oh, shit! Five to nine! Fred! Should be here any minute. Look at this place, man. Let me stash some of this stuff. Fred, man, forget about the stupid clock. Take this! Hey! Wait, where are you going? Here.
the world of horror. Yeah. Identify yourself. Is that the clock in the script? Yeah, I inherited it from my old man. Hmm. Sounds like your new script wasn't made up. I pretty much play myself. Avenging my father's honor in a battle with a powerful unknown force. Wow. Kind of romantic. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I can't seem to picture you as the heroic type. Well, let's take a look at your part for a minute. You play the country girl who comes to the big city to become a star. But you're always afraid that someone's going to take advantage of you. <laughs> That's what you think. Well, I mean, uh, you're part, of course. Of course. And you fall totally in love with me because, well, because I'm the only one who's really up front with you. Are you sure? <laughs> a hero can't have any weaknesses. Well, no, he really wouldn't be a hero, would he? Um, the clock is wrong. It says it's 12. Freshen up a little bit before the butler's ghost comes. Where's the little girl? Oh, you, you can't do this to me. What are you talking about? You just can't leave me. What's the matter? Nothing. Nothing. A lot of things matter. What could possibly be the matter? You're so funny. Oh, um. Well, maybe it would be better if you just disappeared. Yeah. Well, you know what I mean. Freshen up. Freshen up. It's down this way. Yes. Go down the hall. And it's the first door. Right down there. Okay. Fred, Fred, can you hear me? What are you doing in there, man? Shall I answer it for you, sir? Okay, stay completely calm. Hey, don't get excited. Just keep your cool. So, this is your second visit. Uh, uh, don't be afraid of me. Oh, no, it's nothing like that. It's just that, uh... What are you doing in there, man? It's just that... Uh, it's just that... Uh, I want to go tell my buddy that you're here. I'm here, sir. Great. Glad to hear it. Tell you what, you just stay here for a minute. And, um, I'll be back in just a sec. All right? If you don't open this door now, I'll break it in. Why did you make my body so difficult to use? Body? What body? Mind you, I still appreciate it. I feel reborn, except for the teeth. I have a little difficulty speaking. Oh, but don't think that I'm ungrateful. Ungrateful? Come on, no. Brad, open up. No, it's nothing like that. But as you can hear, there's someone out there calling me, so I better go see what he wants. But, sir... Uh... I'll be back in just a sec, okay? Oh, time. what's going on in there? I think I'm gonna be sick. Fred, you were right. He really is transparent. I saw him in there. Not anymore. What do you mean, not anymore? What? Come on. Come on in here. <laughs> just a second. I'm just making us up a couple more drinks. Be right there. Hey, hey, out with it. All right, 
I'm completely calm, right? Not out of my gourd or anything. Yeah, yeah, but you're driving me nuts, man. Tell me. All right, get this. That ghost made off with my new movie monster. What? You know, the Lewis, the butler, the one we made for the new movie? Suddenly he's like alive now. He can move. And he speaks in the same voice as that ghost. Your cocktail, madam. That's a funny accent, Warren. Any farther service, madam? Warren, it's not funny. Madam? Didn't you hear me? The performance is over. Did I do something wrong? Get your hands off me, you creep. But, madam... I said get your hands off! Calm down, okay? We can explain everything. Huh? Ah. I think he just turned on the projector. Apparently, he's got the same bad taste in movies as you guys. Show it to him. Excuse me. Can I disturb you for a moment? Oh, sir, I'm terribly sorry. I completely forgot myself. Oh, that's horrible, sir. I can't believe people enjoy watching that. Oh, well, that's just a movie. Uh, well, actually, what we wanted to know was it's this clock here, see? Of course. Yes, the clock. Oh, my goodness. Is it that late already? We must hurry, sir. We've got to do it before the next hour passes. Do what? Naturally. How stupid of me. You can't possibly know what I mean. Well, to begin, I must mention that your grandfather was a very disagreeable person. He cheated you out of your inheritance. My inheritance? Indeed, sir. Your rightful inheritance. Hey. Hey. Um, what do you mean, his inheritance? Look, let me get one thing straight there. See that clock? That's my clock. He only repaired it. You see, my clock, he fixed it. Look, none of that matters right now. Oh, sure. Not to you, maybe. I don't seem to understand. Look, this is all really simple. Your boss 
was my grandfather. See? No problem. Look, now you're completely confusing him. But who's confusing whom here? All right, all right. Ooh. If anyone's been cheated out of their inheritance, then it was him. That's right. Hey. Oh. Here, look. Right there, you see? Warren McLeod. That's me. Oh. As you say, sir, but begging your pardon, we've only got a little bit of time. We've got to get going immediately. Well, uh, where's this little adventure going to take us to, anyway? To your grandfather's house, of course. Does it even still exist? How should I know? Sir, we've got to find it, otherwise I'll never know eternal peace. Look, you remember my dream? Okay, what happened is, you boxed in your grandfather with all of his money. Now, he wants to show us where to find it. I really shouldn't have done it. See? Fred, did you change any numbers? No, no idea. Oh, it was millions, sir. Millions? His entire fortune. He's a very rich man. Rich man? All we gotta do is go to this house. Hey, partner, what's the address? Yeah, you've got a street name or anything like that? Zip code? It was just called the McLeod Estate. A big white wooden house, not far from a cattle watering station. Cattle watering station. A big white wood house. A big white wood house. Of course! Where are you going? I'll show you in a minute. Well, we need a map or something. All right. Here we are now. And here's Santa Monica. And over here's Hollywood. Hollywood? It was in Hollywood. Are you sure? Yes, sir. You hear that? Hey, is this it, Lewis? Yes, sir. That's it. Except it was a lot bigger, of course. Oh, this. No, this is just a model, see? I built that the way I had my dream, see? Just like you. Oh, well, no, like the body you're living in right now, anyway. I built them both for the movie. Movie? Look, you're only confusing him now. Look, we know what the house looks like, and we know it's in Hollywood. You know, a lot of movies like mine are made in Hollywood nowadays. Nobody cares, Fred. Lewis, look, maybe you can remember some uh, landmarks or something like that. I think if you were to take me to Hollywood, it would be easier for me, sir. Wait a minute, Fred, where are you taking him? Wait. All right. Take a look at that. So many lights. Is that really Hollywood? That's it. It looks beautiful. Gotta recognize something sooner or later, right? Just stop pressuring him so much. You know, it's counterproductive. I know that. Hey, Lewis, buddy. I want you to try and take it easy, you know? Mellow out. Mellow? Yeah, you know what I mean. Just kick back. Chill. Chill? Yeah, chill. Okay, forget it. Good job, Warren. Good job. I kind of wanted to ask you something. Yes, sir. Well, up there in heaven or wherever it is you come from, are there 
Others? Others, Tad? Boris Karloff. Now, you couldn't miss a face like that. I'm really terribly sorry, but no. What are you talking about? He was a big star. How could you miss a face like that? I'm most awfully sorry, sir, but there are no stars there. And there aren't any faces, either. No faces? Oh, I don't know if I want to go there. Excuse me, I gotta get some air. Thank you very much. All right. Suit yourself. I'm looking for the McLeod estate. Perhaps you can help me. Oh, sure. I know this town better than the back of my head. You don't remember me, do you? I used to be one of the bees on screen. Little creatures like you hit this town. Uh, you can't work me say. I mean, it's like Chinese or Japanese or Chinese. Well, Nobody's fixing it. Right in the car. What are you doing here? Could you imagine an existence without a face? Oh, but I can imagine one without a car. Hey, hey, wait! Sir, I now know where it is. Oh, great. Do you hear that, guys? He has the truck. Look, we only got a couple minutes left. Slow down, man. It's got to be around here somewhere. be around here. I mean, I know this area. There's nothing here but movie studios. Sir, you can stop here. Did you recognize something? Please, sir. Hey, you discovered something. Stop. Where? What? Come on, stop the car. I can clearly see the house. I can clearly see the house. I have fulfilled my duty. I will finally know peace. That's Stan Gordon Pictures, nothing but a movie studio. Just leave him alone. Don't be so heartless. This is... if it makes him happy. It makes him happy. Great, great. Now what are we supposed to do, huh? You think about that? <sighs> Look, shut up, both of you. But maybe he can tell us. Lewis, Lewis, man. What do we have to do? You've got to go into the basement of the house. Into the basement. I had so much to ask him. What a wimpy ghost. Well, just tell the old geezer that I'm going to be late for work. I don't know. Think of something. I can't believe it. He took us to Stan Gordon Pictures. Once Lewis discovers that we haven't found the house, I'm sure he'll be back. Come on, man. You don't believe that yourself. I guess the best thing for us to do is find out if the house is really ever there. Let's go to the land registry office. Well, wait a minute. Can you take me to my torture chamber? I'm late for work. Oh, great, boy. That's all the way on the other side of town. Hey, what's wrong? Lori? Hey, Lori, where are you going? I'm going to take a taxi. Come on, it's all right. We'll take you. Really? 
Yeah, don't be so sensitive. Look, can't you understand how important all this is to us? Yeah, it's real important to you. You never think about anybody else. God, I hope you're happy. All right. Hey, beat it, asshole, before I help you break your breathing habit, all right? Hey, when this is all over, we're going to make this movie. That's why you're so sensitive, isn't it? Pictures is a real estate company, and you'll never guess who the chief partner is. I give up. Who? Frederick McLeod. Oh shit, man! Show me. Hey, look, and there's a second partner, and his name is uh, Stanislav Gordelev. Son of a bitch. Stan, Stan Gordon. Gordon. <laughs> I can't believe it. I should have thought of that before. Oh shit. Listen to this. Listen. After Gramps is out of the picture, right? His partner takes advantage of the general confusion to get his hands on the property, you see. He establishes a, a movie studio under his new name and then sells the property back to himself. At a good price, of course. Maybe you're right. You see, this animal is very dangerous, very brutal. And the natives are very afraid of him. They hate him, too, because he steals their sheep and he steals their goats. Sometimes even their women. Uh -huh. And that's where you would come in, you see. You would play this beautiful young girl who gets kidnapped by the ape and dragged into a cave. Oh, yeah. I know the story. Oh, yes. Everybody knows the story. I have a twist. My ape is twice as big as the last one. Wow. Yeah. It's really impressive. Yeah. You never said why you picked me, of all people. Well, uh, you know, they say I have a an instinct for young talent. Also, I was thinking maybe you, uh, you might be able to do me a small favor. Now, listen, wait, now, we can talk this over. Hey, hold on. Hey, hold on. Listen, this business is made up of favors. Hey, hey, you have any idea who I am? You're not messing with some low life here, baby. You'll never work again in this town, I promise you that. You're finished through. Wipe that village idiot grin off of your mug. Great. What are you doing? 
doing here? You didn't tell him anything, did you? Hello, my name is Chuck Johnson. This here's my cousin, Billy Bobob. We're here to do your annual office safety inspection check, so let's get started right away. Here you go, Billy Bobob. Bob. Okay, what do we have here? We got your basic fur. Yes. We got wall to wall carpet. Yes. We got electric light fixtures. Yes. We got here a picture of a French there. That's Gene Kelly. It don't matter. Yes. We got another plant over here. Yes. My goodness, we got Lisa here. Check. Yes. Woo! We got this here. Oh, what do you call that? We got your clock. We got your secretary. Yes. We got your table. We got your chair. We got your speedometer. We got your TA 9009 typewriter and your automatic door lock. Everything's working fine. Yes. You pass, honey. Thank you. Oh. Oh. Thank you. What do you think you're doing in here? Well, let's just say it's, uh, business. Business? I have no business with you. And if you don't have an appointment, you better turn right around and march the hell out of here. Is that so, Mr. Stanislav Gordelev Jr.? Hey, hey! Get your hands off that ape! You guys are a couple of real little snoops, aren't you? We didn't come here to exchange compliments with you, Stan. You came here to tell me how upset you are over my father's little transaction, is that it? Transaction? Transaction. No, 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 that's just not quite the right word. Seems to me it was more in the Grand Theft Broad neighborhood somewhere around there. <laughs> yes, well, unfortunately, the statute of limitations ran out a long time ago. Yeah. But... It could still make for some pretty bad publicity. What if the whole world were to discover that good old Stan Gordon, pillar of the community, founded his company as a result of a swindle? Now, call me crazy, but uh, I think you catch my drift. Right, Fred? Right. That's good. That's good. I like that. That's one point for you. Maybe we should talk a little business. Sit down. Bring your goofball friend up here. Fred. Oh. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'll make a little deal with you. Let's say my way of apologizing for my old man. I'm touched, Stan. Really? I'll give you a contract to make a film. I'll put up the financing. You choose your own project. What did he say? Yeah, you heard him right. It's probably the same thing you tried on Laurie. He's just trying to buy us off. Wait a minute. He wants us to make a movie for him. Don't be a jerk, Fred. It comes to the same thing. I can't believe it. A real movie. Jeez, Fred, you'd sell your grandmother for that. Don't you see what this guy's trying to do? This is a legitimate offer. Take it or leave it. If you think I'm going to let myself be cheated like the rest of my family, well, you've made a serious mistake, buddy. See, I know what you're really after. You think there's some clue or something in this suitcase that'll tell you where my grandfather left his cash? Yeah, well, the joke's on you. You see, it was in the house. The one that your old man tore down. He tore it down? Well, that throws you for a loop, doesn't it? See, your asshole family cheated me out of my inheritance. And now, you're gonna pay for it. And that's a promise. Let's get out of here. Look, I'm really sorry. I'm sorry about what he said. See, he's an egocentric, paranoid prima donna. He doesn't realize what a beautiful person you really are. Fred, come on! Come on. Hey, wing nut. Get me Carl. Punch up Carl on the walkie-talkie. Oh, I hate him. I really hate him. Who do you mean now? The young or the old? Both. It's okay. She's still here. What do you want me to do? Push her off a bridge? I don't pay you to sit around. Now get off your dead ass and get to work. Okay, okay. Honey, I'll be right back, okay? Thank 
stupid house. You saw signs of passion. Stand for it. Warren? Laurie doing here? You go ahead. I'll come after you, all right? Thanks, man. What are you doing here? Something wrong? Hands in the air. Okay, two steps forward. Get going. I saw that stupid house. Shut up. The house? Both of you. Where'd you see it? In the movie. What? No kidding. It's Dan Gordon's picture. Well, then it still must be there. No. Tell me, where is it? Who has what? Come on, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Well, if you gave me a little more of a hint, I could Did you probably... take me for a fool? Okay, it's, uh... It's in the basement. Oh, will you excuse me for a minute? Oh, Lewis. We're really in deep shit. The clock. Don't give a shit if he's busy. Put me through to him immediately. Come on. It's working. It's working. After midnight, look. Lewis. Lewis, wake up, buddy. Hmm. It's me, Carl. Um, excuse me. It's me, Carl. Um, it's in the basement. No, where exactly he doesn't know. But um, I mean, for sure. Well, of course, he told me himself. I'll take care of it, Mr. Um, Gordon. Oh, it is so good to see you. The pleasure is entirely mine, sir. We've got big problems. You didn't find the house, huh? Yeah, 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 but that's not it. Warren and Lori are in serious trouble. What are you doing? You're right, sir. Yes, certainly, sir. Thank you, sir gonna pay for this what do we do now it's time once more for british ingenuity to put the hand in his place now i propose a false attack a false attack 1916 battle of flanders sir. was it successful yes and no what do you mean yes and no 
Big losses on both sides, sir. Oh, great. Sounds like fun. Oh, shit, I wish I knew what Fred was. No, was great. Look, man, you're never gonna get away with this. You know, this is a federal offense. You're going to jail. Shut your trap! Don't move. This is cool. Chill, man. Take the paint off the walls. Guess what you're talking about? All right, you know what to do. <laughs> Mr. Gordon, I mean, it's the middle of the night. We don't have a permit. Hey, to... hey, zip it. You do what you're told, you understand? Yes, sir. What are we supposed to do now? I would propose. Life, son of a bitch, he's gonna blow up the whole house. Just get your ass back up here now! I can't! Besides, I thought you wanted to be in the basement anyway. Sure we are. Except for this just happens to be the basement of the house that's gonna be blown up. What? Do you hear me? What do we do now? Oh, the terrible memory. 
glory of it all. I know what this is from. This is from Bloody Christmas, starring Akira Kubo. See, he gets his chambermaid, right? And he ties her up, and he tortures her day and night. Can you remember where it was? There, behind the wall. It was by here. You sure? Yes, sir. I want this in my room. Hey, somebody give me a hand, please. Wait a minute, I'll help you. Thank you. longer than five minutes. Okay. You're gonna need this. Okay. All right, people, let's try and lock it up now. We're going in five minutes. Can you give me full flood on the house? Got a visitor, sir. A visitor? Show me! Show me. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Fred! 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 Hey, hey, you alright? Huh? Look at me. You okay? I think you wanted to eat me. Man, what the hell was that? You made him mad. What? Listen, I've got a great idea. Why don't we get out of here as quickly as possible? Fred! Oh, shit. Good evening, sir. What are you doing here? Oh, what I'm doing? What I'm doing here? Uh, I'm... I'm... I wanted... That's rather difficult to explain. Listen, now's not the time to wimp out. Remember, this is the bastard who bumped you off. It's not the time to be polite. It's time you stood up for yourself. And who are these people? Oh, excuse me, sir. May I introduce your grandson, Warren McLeod? These are his two friends. Hi. 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 Yes, of course. My dear family. Well, you know, that's me. I just happened to be in the neighborhood. I figured, hey, why not stop by and see how you're doing? But it's like you got thing, everything under control now. Liar! No, no. You came to steal my money. Well, now that you mention it, I'll tell you, a little pocket change wouldn't hurt. Watch out, sir! Nice family. Let's get out of here. Come on, Louis. Don't stand there like an idiot. Do something. Okay. Ooh. Fencing classes. I dropped out. I'll try to hold him off. Huh?
Uh, watch out, boy! Well, how about my money? Oh, wonderful fall. I'm a bride. Well, how was that? Pretty good, huh? Guess I showed him. You might want to turn around and look behind you. Now this just isn't fair. Hey, hey, be careful, Fred. Serve the clock. Stand by, ladies and gentlemen. This is for the money. What are you talking about? 
talking about? We have to get out of here. No, sir. Save your souls and let me die alone. You three have allowed my soul to rest. And now I will have eternal peace. Eternal peace? What's so great about eternal peace? Don't you want to be a movie star? Roll camera A! Rolling! Roll camera B! It's in the can. It is a wrap. Yeah! <laughs> All right. Clean up the trash, Mark. Everybody wants to move on. Look for yourself. Go take a look, Mr. McLeod, at your inheritance. It's terrific. Look at all the paper in here. Lots of old oh, paper. Oh, don't touch me. Look at this. I cannot believe this. I'm so glad we came here today. I'm so glad. I can I just type. Oh, God. Oh. This is bullshit. Oh, that's good. That's really good. Look, just shut up and we'll get the hell out of here. Oh, oh! What the hell's wrong with you? Give me another one. Rockwell Standard Corporation. Fifty thousand dollars. Did you see that? Yeah, you just burned up fifty thousand dollars.
Come on, man. Stop thinking about it. It's not coming back. I know. It's just... Forget it. Hey, look, if it's a movie, it's no problem. I mean, we have all the money to do any movie you want. Just name it. I had such a great idea. I wanted Lewis to be in my next picture. He, he was going to play the commander of the starship Hydra, you see? And so we're, they're zooming through space, and then they got lost in the third hyperspace jump, see? And so what happens is they have to make it a mercy landing, right? And they land on an Amazon planet called Oxygen. Naturally, he falls in love with the queen of the Amazons, Lily, despite the fact that she's a waterhead. <laughs> you know... This would be a really great movie. She lit a cigarette.